Hey guys, this is the Lishka Heko, uh, one of the first, or maybe probably the first pattern uh, coming from Czech Republic, from the Doyen of Czech uh, fly fishing, uh, Mr. Karel Lishka. Now, you can see it's just the rooster heckle and uh, the golden tinsel but back in the days it was a real pattern and it's been sell it in the only one uh, fly fishing shop which exists back in these days in Austro-Hungarian Empire and so uh, it was really a pattern and it's here at least here in Czech Republic, it's, it's still uh, known as a Liška Heckel or Liška Fly. In, in Czech language, it's a Liš, Liškova Chmířenka. Uh, it can be tied on a hook from really small to big, like 10 or 8. I'm going to tie this one on size 14 hook Tiemco 100 SP BL for thread, Dynama, Brown or whatever the black unit thread uh, 80 something like this So, just cover the thread and the original, I believe, was made from black rooster. I have almost black, it's really dark brown. I like it more than the real black and I'm just going to tie in a few, few uh, tips. I'm not going to ta uh, count three, just pick like five, six or something like this and tie this in on a similar length as the body. And go one tray wrap under so they will rise up a bit. Trim this. You can fish this fly as a dry fly, wet fly, or even almost like streamer when it's on a big hook. So now take just simple uh, gold tinsel and tie in a, a piece of this. I'm going to cover the hook. For the heckle, the same rooster tie in. Maybe this one's it's maybe a little big, but it's not that bad. It's a heckle, right? So tie this in. Trim this and I will just a little bit shape the body, not really, I'm not going to tie in some floss but just with a thread, a little bit of shaping, like this. Now I'm going to apply a bit of varnish on the thread base. And rub the tinsel. Secure this.
Trim. Okay, and just wrap it like this. Okay. This is maybe a bit odd. So once more tie this in. Let's get fragile. I will be all right. From this. Okay, I'll wrap this. Not the best day today, huh? Okay, secure, let go. Now, here I'm using straw, as I mentioned before. Cut this straw in the middle, put it on the thread. And okay. Trim the rest of the booster. Shape a, a bit head. I'm making quite a big head for these flies. For me, it's something like spider fly. So shape the head a bit. Secure this. Okay. And just apply varnish. Drop here. Drop there. Remove straw and and that's it. Fish kaiko. Trim the thread. And we done really simple easy fly. But it really can be successful. Mostly I had success with these flies as a wet fly in this size or even bigger, like 12, size 12 or 10. And I've been also fishing very small flies on a hook, about 18, as a dry fly for graylings during the late autumn, during the late fall. And it works well also. So, yeah. For today is not the real pattern, right? Or it is like one can say it's too simple, but for me it's still a great fly, a great history. Just one sentence from Karel Liska. He he once announced uh, that he would like to or love to his relics grow into into a tree in which birds can nest and sing. That was the spirit of Karelishka, I believe.